Don't action in me. It's stre you stress me out. Okay, so it is day two of getting ready to leave in the RV. We got most of the maintenance stuff done in the last video. Today I actually need a pack. So we're going to get some of the baskets out of the wardrobe. And then we're also going to get some of these empty baskets up here. This will be for like uh, snacks, food, technology, work computers, tablets, stuff like that. Well, shit. Okay, so, uh, problem. I don't know if you watched the last video when I installed wallpaper and then um, I attached acoustic foam panels to it. Swing and a miss. Uh, oh well, you win some, you lose some. Okay, so I am in the process of taking clothes directly from a clean laundry basket and I'm putting them in bins that uh, will go in the wardrobe in our RV. I know that this might seem kind of an odd way of packing, like directly from basket to basket, but it works for us. There's no sense in like packing a bag when we don't live out of a bag in the RV. It actually looks like this time I'm going to have to take clothes from the actual closet, which I'm very proud of. That means that I've done laundry within the last week put laundry away within the last week. I'm going to keep packing up. I'm gonna get all of the clothing done and then I'll pick back up with you guys when it's time to start on pantry groceries or whatever else we need to pack. Uh, we'll get to it. Okay, so Decos is getting ready to flush the line. So basically to winterize an RV, you push food safe antifreeze through all of the lines and it, it fills up with it. So it's sitting there full of antifreeze right now. What he's going to do is he first he needs to flush all of that out of the lines. Then he's going to run sanitizing through, which is just like bleach water, basically. He's going to run all of that through and then give it like a really good rinsey rinse and then dump the tank before we leave. So we're leaving with a completely empty tank empty black tank and fresh lines. Okay, so right now we are running the lines. We have the kitchen sink and the shower faucet going. Basically just trying to rinse out all of the antifreeze from the, from the lines before we sanitize. Basically we'll run these two until they run clear. Uh, then we'll do the toilet and the bathroom sink separately. The lines feeding aren't really big enough to support more than two faucets going at once. So it's kind of a losing battle. We'll do two at a time and hopefully get that done with soon. Okay, so now we're going to get underneath this bench seat. That's where our water pump is stored and we're on water pump number two. We've had the RV or less than a year, so, uh, oops. But we've replaced it. It used to leak. It doesn't now. We're just going to double check it before we head out. Um, sometimes things just happen. So we're going to get into that bench seat and double check that it's dry and everything's okay. Don't action in me. It's str you stress me out. Anyway, these are just seat cushions. I made these covers myself. So we can get under the seat. And, oops, down here is the water pump, which is dry, question mark. It looks dry. It looks good. If anyone's curious, that's, that's the pump, and then the, the, here's the transfer switch, which tells the RV whether we're on shore power or on the generator. I wouldn't have known that. If you're, if you're curious, if you're wondering what's like the guts of an RV, so the blue line back there is the inline from the water tank. Uh, we have our water pump, which only runs if we're running off the tank and not shore power. Uh, there's a transfer switch, which Deco's described. And then this bad boy right here is the seatbelt hitch, rack, whatever. So this is bolted to the frame. The seatbelt can come up behind the seat. And it's safe, question mark? Uh, the water heater is right there, too. Uh, the access is on this side. Covered up? It's down there. That's where you, on this model, you'd find the bypass valves, which you would need to know for winterizing and dewinterizing. So. And the, the most important part of the whole entire RV is the art that I picked out. Um, I got this from Etsy and I think it's wonderful. Shout out to Screaming Color Art.
high five. High five. Kilo high five. Ah! Kilo high five. Okay, so laundry is squared away. Now we are going to pack from the pantry. We will turn on the refrigerator tonight so that it's cold tomorrow, and then we'll take our cold like refrigerator and freezer stuff out tomorrow. I also need to do a grocery run tonight. Oh, hopefully it won't be too much, but basically we're gonna get everything that we need out of the pantry into the basket to be stowed where it belongs. Also, don't come at me from my pantry, okay? We live here. I work full time. I do this bullshit. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time to organize their pantry. Okay, so priority number one is potatoes. And these seem to be still good. Giant bag of cereal. Actually, this is kind of funny. The whole bread basket comes with us into the RV. So reusable bag for snacks, granola bars. Granola bars that are basically candy bars. Applesauce, peanut butter. That can just go in there. Always ketchup. I changed my mind, we're taking the sweet peanut butter and <laughs> leaving the natural peanut butter. That goes will want pre-workout. I should look at my list, I have a list for a reason. Okay, so on a longer trip, I would also do a reusable bag full of produce since we're only doing two dinners, two lunches. I'm just gonna throw everything in together and we'll organize it when we get in there because we should have plenty of space. Okay, so pantry haul is not very impressive. For this trip. I'll get some other stuff from the store like chips and crackers and uh, yeah so basically this is how I pack my pantry. I just take my whole pantry. Okay so Decos has he rinsed all of the antifreeze out of the lines and then he ran bleach through the lines now he's got to fill the tank back up and then rinse everything out a final time. Um, meanwhile I am going to put uh, <laughs> I'm gonna work on putting the RV back together. He still needs to get into the tank to dump it at the end of the night, so I can't put that bench back down, but uh, I can get most of the stuff stowed for travel tomorrow. The, let's see, the clothes are packed, the shelf stable groceries are packed. So basically all that's left for me tonight is I need to go and get groceries, and I need to pick up dinner, and uh, then we're ready to start tomorrow. So. That's going to wrap it up for me for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you think. If you have any thoughts in the comments below, feel free. Otherwise, like. And if you want to support my channel, uh, just subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video.